Preaching in, involves several things. It involves God's Spirit being at work. It, it involves an explanation of the meaning of text. It involves effective communication. And it in, involves emphasizing the relevance of the Bible to the lives of the listeners. We don't make it relevant. It is relevant, but we help people to see that it's relevant. And I think that's important because people don't come to church uh, and sit down just hoping that we're going to read from Obadiah or just dreaming of a, a good sermon from uh, the wisdom literature. They come with real life issues, real life struggles. They're, they're burdened by situations at home or with their children or with their spouse or with their singleness or with their health or with their finances or their future or whatever it is. Normal life is what people live, not the, the study life of a, a, pr a preacher. So that means that if we do the, the logical thing of read the text, explain the text, and then finally apply the text. That may make sense logically, but it doesn't make sense if we want people to listen because they're not desperate for that Bible reading. They're not desperate for that explanation. And so it's important for us to put relevance early into the message to show that I, as a speaker, am a real person and I understand that you're a real person and we've got real issues and here's an example of a real issue and here's a passage that's gonna to speak to that. And so just by a little introduction that that surfaces a need in our listeners that's going to be answered by the text will give them an appetite to listen to the reading, to follow along, and then as we explain it, we can continually show its relevance rather than saving all the relevance for the end. So the wording of our points, the using illustrations that are more contemporary uh, rather than obscure. It's much better to take a, a, a 30 second or a two minute part of the sermon to describe this passage working in their lives or God applying this in their lives than it is to talk about Napoleon or Churchill or something obscure that's just out there uh, and, and distant from them. So anything we can do throughout the message to communicate relevance is going to help people to engage with the Bible and with the message that we're preaching.